Hello gamers, my name is Kevin and this is the Veterans Gaming Podcast. Hello gamers, my name is Kevin and this is episode 48 of the Veterans Gaming Podcast. I am playing FIFA 23 career mode and I am the manager of Blackpool FC. This was supposed to be episode 49. Uh, however, there were some technical issues with the recording of the original episode uh, 49. So basically what ended up happening is I played uh, the Manchester United match and uh, I ended up losing the match 3-2. to two. But like I said, due to some technical issues, uh, the recording did not record, basically. So I ended up losing that episode. That, that episode is gone now. So this, which should be episode 49, is going to be episode 48. Unfortunately, I cannot go back and change that. Uh, there were some issues going on with my computer that uh, I should have taken care of uh, beforehand. So unfortunately, the Manchester United game is not uh, going to be on the Veterans Gaming Podcast. Unfortunately, I lost uh, three to two. I was up two to one, and uh, Rashford and Anthony got two goals in the last couple of minutes to uh, seal the deal. So we're gonna have to move on here. Uh, so we're gonna move on. We're gonna go to the FA Cup, which is the next match, round of 16 against Fleetwood Town. What a Cinderella story this has been. Uh, let's see if we can look at the other matches of uh, the round of 16 of the FA Cup and see who's uh, who's going up against who. So round five, Preston versus Wycombe, Hull City versus Norwich, uh, Swansea City versus Spurs, who I believe won the FA Cup last year, uh, Blackpool versus Fleetwood Town. Ooh, look at this one. Uh, Chelsea versus West Brom, uh, Derby County versus West Ham, uh, Sheffield City versus uh, Leicester, excuse me, Sheffield United versus Leicester City and Brentford versus Wolves. So it looks like the big teams, Manchester City, Arsenal, Liverpool, uh, they are they got eliminated from the FA Cup. So uh, maybe this time around it'll be a maybe I'll have an easier time advancing. Uh, Fleetwood Town, I don't know what division they're in. I know they're they're probably like two leagues lower than uh, than us. So I'm gonna put some uh, I'm gonna put some young blood in in this. Uh, for this match, and then we're we're gonna go from there. So let's uh, go ahead and simulate the training. And then let's make some uh, strategic changes here. Uh, let's look at the inbox real quick beforehand. Uh, I bet you for RB, Lipsing, blah, blah, blah. Okay, don't worry about that. It's a player that uh, I never acquired anyway. So let's advance. We're gonna be a, uh, hosting uh, Fleetwood Town. So let's go to the pre-match uh, press conference. Uh, we should be able to get the W against these guys and go to uh, the quarterfinals of the FA Cup, which is what we did last year. There's always pressure and excitement around a game like this against Fleetwood Town. So uh, we need to find some form uh, so much at stake in this game, especially after that loss to Manchester United. Uh, rivals, the pressure's on. Are you confident? Uh, this, uh, these games are not going to be easy. So I'm going to I'm going to respect Fleetwood Town. I know they won't be an easy opponent. I don't know what division they're in. Um, I know they're not in the Premier League, so. They're at least one division below us. But uh, it's about confidence. I think uh, sometimes in these games, we get up two to nothing. We get short on self-belief, and uh, we're not able to close these out. Uh, we were up two nothing against Arsenal. I think we were up two nothing against Nottingham Forest. And then this last time out, we were up two to nothing against Man United. And the thing about those games are at home, too, which makes it even worse. So let's go ahead and uh, play the match, but I'm going to make a whole bunch of changes. I'm going to rest uh, some of my starters. I'm going to put Grimshaw in. I'm going to put Abdullah. 
then I'm gonna get my boy from Puerto Rico in here, Mr. Antonelli. I'm gonna put on, I'm gonna put Angulo and then I'm gonna put a, I'm going to put, where is he at? I'm gonna put Lopez. They're gonna be the center backs. Uh, let's see, let's put Phillips in the middle. He's been effective. Then where is uh, where is Newman? He's kind of out to lunch, but he's kind of not on the team really. Put Lavia in. Let's put Bangura, and let's put um, Vogel in. See, we got Doug. Uh, I'm gonna sit Wagner now. I'm going to put Dams Guard in just in case. I'll put Doke in. And no, actually, I'm going to put uh, Fatal. Yeah, let's see what we got here. Let's put on, let's try to get one of these young bucks in here. Let's put Colombo in for in case Martel doesn't pan out. I'll keep a thief. And let's see if, all right, that should do it. And then uh, we should be able to, we should be able to beat Fleetwood Town. Uh, they play the 4-4-1-1. Four, four, one, one. Let's go. And then we're going to get through the pageantry and all that. And then we're going to go into this FA Cup round of 16. Uh, this is episode 48 of the Veterans Gaming Podcast. My name is Kevin, uh, U.S. Navy veteran, U.S. Army veteran, Iraq Gulf War veteran. Ma I'm managing uh, Blackpool FC. I was able to get them promoted from uh, the championship, which is the second tier of English soccer to the Barclays Premier League uh, in real life. Unfortunately, um, they were in the championship last season. In real life, they are now in League One. But in this game, I managed to get them promoted to the Barclays Premier League. And right now, we're sitting in the middle of the table, ninth, tenth place. Probably should be higher, but you know, uh, not being able to close out some of these games in which we were leading has really cost us a lot of points. So lesson learned and giving up too many goals at bad times. We tend to give up goals very early in the game, uh, usually towards the end of the half and especially towards the end of the games. We've blown too many, too many games. We blew it against Arsenal. We blew it against Nottingham Forest. Uh, we blew the game just now before this against Manchester United in the league. Uh, we blew the lead at Old Trafford. We probably should have swept Man United. And then we've laid some duds. We lost uh, three to two to Sheffield United in the league, and they were bottom of the table. So we we've really shot ourselves in the foot. Quite frankly, we probably should be top four. Uh, but you know, you live and you learn. So uh, I'll take those lessons that I've learned and uh, probably apply them to next season. But for now, let's concentrate on this uh, FA Cup tie. Let's go. FA Cup round of 16. Oh. 
Oh, Fleetwood Town almost goes up one nothing. Okay, sloppy start so far. They got a corner. Oh, another. That's a great save by Grimshaw. Well, right now, a very sloppy start. Abdullahi with the, the header. One nothing fleet with time. Oh my goodness. I mean, it, this could not have been a worse start. Again, the defense asleep at the wheel. There we go, bubble. Go, Bobo. Lafif. Oh, I thought he was going to tie it there. Lie. There we go. Tie game. His. I think that's his second goal for Blackpool. Up the mighty pool, we are tied 1-1 with Fleetwood Town. Yeah, he just went past the defender with ease there. 1-1. Up the mighty pool. Shout out to my man, Lee Charles. Lee Charles TV. Shout out to you and Jane. Hope you're watching. All right, here we go. Oh, go. All right, good shot. Nice job, Angulo. All right, Angulo. Excellent. Excellent. Ashley Phillips. Ball goal. Doak. Angulai. Oh, good. That would have been a great pass. Had it gone through. Right now, Lavia has been imperious. Bogle, that should be two to one. It is two to one, Blackpool. Excellent. All right. We should really be able to take over at this point. And give the home crowd something to go be happy with, especially after that debacle against Manchester United. Again, uh, had some technical issues, so uh, that episode did not upload, but you live and you learn. I think this is uh, Bogle's first goal for uh, Blackpool. So we're up two to one. Uh, terrible start, but we are. Uh, it is. It is his first goal. Mm, foul. Good strong defense though by Fief. Good foul. Abdullah with that with that speed. Oh, look at that. There you go, Abdullah. Putting no support. Oh, 
Wow. Oh, Angola, excellent. Miley, X. Ooh, what a cool finish. Three to one Blackpool. And it's looking good to get to the round of eight of the FA Cup for the second season in a row. Oh, beautiful. Great goal by Miley. The keeper had no chance there. All right, three to one. Oh, oh. All right, let's get uh let's get Angulo. Good good speed there. Lavia has been majestic. Oh our feet, what a pass. And he is on the break. Oh, should have been four to one. That's okay. Excellent goalkeeping. Mogul. Okay. Not a bad shot there. We're playing a. Uh, we're playing the game in Fleetwood's hat. Oh, oh, bad pass by Mogul. Oh, Doke. I'm the light. All right. Hey, we're staying in Fleetwood Town's uh, end of the pitch. So really nothing to complain about. Oh. That should have been a shot on goal. All right, let's see. Nice. nice. And it's a goal kick. Bobo playing quite well. All right, second half coming up. We're up three to one. Let's get a couple of goals here and seal the deal and uh, not do anything like that. Right. Grimshaw, that was way better than... Uh, Oh, Lavia. Lavia has been outstanding in this match. Doke. Doke. Ah. Uh. All right. Oh. That line. Oh, nice. Okay. 
Dá só fechar, dá só fechar. Boy, I tell you, Fleetwood Town has no answer for Lavia. Oh, bad header. All right. We've got 30 minutes left here. We're uh, up three to one. Ah. Uh. Nice job, Lopez. Perius. Okay. All right. No, no clear cut, uh, no clear cut opportunities. But I'll go. Okay. No problem. All right. Let's get some substitutions in here. Uh, really, nothing to complain about. Let's get this young man Colombo in there. Let's give him a chance. Uh, let's get Buonanote here. And then let's get uh, the young man, the Boricua, the Puerto Rican young man, Antonetti. Let's get him in the game. So we're going to make three substitutions and uh, try to close this match out. Other than the first few minutes of the game, no real complaints. Oh, that would have been a great pass. Oh, out. Goal kick. All right. Uh, quite frankly, Fleetwood Town just uh, not at our level. Let's just pace ourselves here. Miley. Oh, almost got a second one there. Good save. Very good save by the keep. Corner. Okay. Good header. Oh, bad pass there. Look at that. Ooh, excellent. Oh, my gosh. Not a very good shot there, but it's good for us. Okay. Great reaction. Phillips. Doak, Doak, the poles. Oh, that should have been number four there. 
Go. Ah, oh, offside. Oh, he knows it. It should have been four to one. But looks like we're on our way to a, a win here. And uh, we're going to go to the final eight, the, uh, the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. Okay, good defense. A lot of performance by Lobby. Offsides again? Oh, okay. All right. This should do it, though. Oh, what a shot. And what a save. That's it. We got three goals in the first half. We win three to one, played it pretty much even in the second half, and Blackpool for the second year, second season in a row, we're going to go to the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. So other than that goal in the sixth minute, no complaints. Lewis Miley, very nice performance. Nice Cinderella run by Fleetwood Town, but it comes to an end. Uh, quite frankly, they were nowhere. Uh, they were not at our level. And uh, quite frankly, uh, Daniel Grimshaw, the keeper, was uh, fantastic overall. And then Abdullahi right here. Not the strongest shot in the world, but it ties the game. He could have passed it to Miley, but look at that. Puts the ball in the back of the net. That's the first goal. Jaden Bogle, who's going to be a super player. Beautiful right there. You know, he usually plays a wing back, but I do like putting him as a central midfielder on the right side. Basically wins the game there for us. And then... uh. This was the one that finished it right here. Lewis Smiley. Great pass by Abdullahi. That was a rocket. And that was a, that's all the goal scoring right there for us. So let's go ahead and look at the match ratings. And then we'll move forward. Afif, uh, 7.0, gets an assist. Anthony was, was okay. Abdullah getting his first ever man of the match, man of the match award for Blackpool, a goal and two assists. He he was a star as the false nine. Uh, ben Doak played very good, and so did Miley. Uh, Buonanote was okay. Bangura, very good. Uh, Colombo did his thing. Bogle, spectacular. Lavia, absolutely imperious. He was he was cooking. He had a uh, he was tackling, he was making interceptions. I mean, he was he was on fire. He was a house on fire. Angulo, solid. Philip, solid. Andres Lopez, solid. Grimshaw, overall solid, except for, uh, like I said, giving up the goal in uh, minute number six. But uh, he had some good saves. So we're going to head to the uh, quarterfinals of the FA Cup. Uh, not sure who we'll be playing against. But all the big teams have been eliminated, except for Spurs. And they're gone. Swansea City beat them on penalties. Interesting. So now that all the big teams are gone, we've really got a chance here to get our first trophy. Uh, if we win the FA Cup, that'll be the first time since 1953 that we've won it. And I mean, quite frankly, we did win it in style. And we're through to the next round. We were good, and uh, this group of players are starting to develop as a team. And uh, they supported each other very well today, no question about it. Uh, you did all the hard work before halftime. Really, in the end, was won by the break. Did you tell your team to ease off in the second half? No. Uh, they had nothing to lose in the second half. They threw people forward, but we did a solid job defensively. 
Hayes was very good and for Fleetwood. Yeah, he was. But we never let up. And uh, that's the kind of that's the kind of performance that I, I want to see. So we're almost done here with uh, episode 48 of the Veterans Gaming Podcast. Okay, we've got some emails here. Uh, since we won that match, uh, the, Ever the Everton match is going to be April 17th. The West Ham match is going to be uh, March the 10th. And we got $210,000 from uh, that win. Uh, let's see. Thanks for listening to me. Okay, that was, that was a great performance by Andres Lopez. So, love it. And uh, Gaffer, I just wanted to say thanks for giving me the chance to show what I can do. Uh, let's see. Outstanding. I mean, he was outstanding. No question about it. You were outstanding. Keep training and, uh, you know, think the fans will see a lot more. Of it. Very, so far, he's been a very good free agent signing. No question about it. Okay, we got a recovery day. Uh, let's see. Oh, whoa, look at this. Hey, Kevin, we, the board of directors, would like to offer you the post of first team manager here at Spurs. Wow. Having studied your development in a similar role at Blackpool, we feel you are the outstanding candidate to take our club forward. We are willing to offer a base salary of $123,000 a week, and we look forward to hearing from you at the earliest convenience. Wow. Tottenham Hotspur want me as their manager. Daddy, what an opportunity. But I am not going to uh, accept. I'm going to reject their offer. I'm going to stay at Blackpool. Uh, monthly youth squad, uh, nothing. Nothing really there. I've pretty much neglected uh, the youth squad at this point. So let's see. Let's take a look at the standings. Brighton 23, us at 34. Let's take a quick look before we head on out. Uh, we're sitting in ninth, and where Brighton is uh, sitting in 19th. 11 matches to go. We are 11 points uh, ahead of the relegation zone. Manchester City, they're gone. Um, okay. So the next uh, match is going to be away at Brighton. And so that'll be the next episode of the Veterans Gaming Podcast. That'll be episode 49. Uh, us, Blackpool, at, Bla at uh, Brighton Hoven out here. Until then, see you next time.